If you've got the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or Plus and you are dealing with this issue where you can hear the ringtone for an incoming call but the call screen never pops up, you cannot answer the call and you only see the missed calls later on. We're going to share some settings and at any point your problem might be fixed so keep watching till the end. Alright guys, so first of all, make sure your device is not on Do Not Disturb or DND. Just turn it off. Now, sometimes this happens for minor software glitch. So what you can do is just go ahead and give your device a simple restart. If you're still having the same problem, next what you can try is open up your phone's app, tap on these three dots, from there go to settings, to call display while using apps, and make sure full screen option is enabled in here. And also keep calls in pop-up option disabled since you're having this issue. After that, we're gonna go back to the call settings and we'll enter other call settings. And make sure hide contacts without numbers option is turned off. Now next, what I can do is tap and hold on the same phone icon. From there, go to info, to notifications, as you can see, it's already turned on, grayed out. That means it cannot be turned off. Now, if yours are not grayed out, just make sure it's turned on. Now, especially you're having this problem when your phone is on a lock screen, make sure all these three categories are selected. And also make sure show content on lock screen option is enabled. Now, we're going to now go back to find out storage of a phone app. And from here, first clear cache and then just go ahead clear data. Now clearing data might delay your call history. So if you're okay with that, go ahead with this process. All right guys, so next we're gonna enter settings on our device and then scroll down for apps. First from this three dot, tap on reset app preferences and then a reset from this pop-up. This will not delete any data, don't worry about that. Now even after that, if you're having the same kind of problem, there might be some customized settings that have made somewhere that you cannot change. So as a last resort, we're going to reset all settings on our device. Let's open up settings, scroll down for general management, scroll down for reset, scroll down once more to reset all settings. Now this will not delete any data, just reset some customized settings, including your Wi-Fi password. Make sure you have that. Just go ahead, tap on reset settings, put down your screen lock and then tap on reset. Now, if none of the process has helped you, reset all settings will fix your problem. Let us know in the comment section so we can assist you further fixing this problem. Thanks for watching.